Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful Aries. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading for you, Aries, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments. As well, Aries, if you do enjoy this video, or you just enjoy my vibe, uh, Aries, I really would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way, Aries. But remember, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, Aries, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe my tarot cards, my weekly horoscopes, are just here to provide you some food for thought, Aries, a uh, perspective for you to consider for never making the choice in your life. So, all that being said, Aries, let's finally just get into your reading, shall we? So... I want to see how it is you guys are currently feeling, Aries. Where are, you, where are you guys right now in your spiritual path, on your just path in general, honey? It doesn't even need to be spiritual, right? Let's see where you guys are at, where your headspace is at. Three of fire, three of wands. All right, so uh, let me read off this card before I get into anything, Aries. This card says abundance. Things are looking very good. Have uh, patience at this time and make long-term plans, Aries. So, yeah, I feel like this is the time for you, Aries, just to, I mean, as the card quite literally says, right, is to just focus on making long-term plans. I do just feel inclined to say that's for you, Aries. Um, I get a sense that some of you guys might be experiencing a little bit of a burnout right now a little bit of a sense of defeat because that is just something i'm intuitively feeling for you guys right now um this is just a time that especially i always like to say aries when it comes to the three of wands this is always my card that i call like uh receiving like breadcrumbs right you start getting hints or like whiffs of where where it is wherever it is that you need to go right for your path or you know aries if you've been out in the sea for a long time right think of this analogy you not know, like everyone's just casually out in the sea but uh you know, imagine being out in the sea for a long time in like your first spot of land out in the distance, right? First signs of land, land. And so in that sense, that's where I feel like you guys are going to be experiencing this week. A little bit of affirmation, a little bit of a nice boost nudge for your uh, week to really, uh, you know, toking that flame, that passion that you have going on areas. So let's get some more clarifiers going on here. We have the Three of Cups coming up for you. We have the star card coming forward to you. Also, the earring that I'm wearing is the star. Uh, I like this so far. We have the devil card coming in here. Aries, confirming what I was feeling. Yeah, this is this devil card is what I was definitely sensing, honey. And then we have the four of pentacles coming in for you. So, Aries, I see you really, again, like you're focusing on the long term. I do like that, right? Because that star card is here. You're focusing on the long term, really trying to invest your pentacles um, into uh, your life, into your situation. But um, it's interesting. It's this devil here that's really like almost impeding you from putting your pen investing your pentacles in how this is spread. Three of Cups is letting me know you're not alone in this venture. Three of Cups is a card. I mean, if we are just going to take this as a solo energy, uh, Aries, this is a card of where uh, just overall just victory celebration, uh, being kinder to yourself as well uh but yeah this i really do get a sense of where it's like you're not alone because also aries for the for a while now you've had uh cards like three of cups i feel like has consistently stepped forward for your weekly readings i keep on always there's uh, always been this common theme of consistency just like some type of group thing uh with the star card uh, coming in here. Uh, this is where I was talking about again of just like you you guys are thinking the long term areas. This is what seems to be what your focus is. Um, really going after this dream. The notice with the star card is always like that card of like one of those things that uh, seemingly is so close but yet so far away. Notice how I was using that analogy with the land as well. Very much reminiscent of that. Um, you know, you're working towards this. And then we have this devil coming in, stopping this. It's like almost like what it is, like the blockade, blockade, or 
um, the haunting, lingering thoughts that you might be having, the thing that starts sabotaging this motivated energy towards you chasing your star. And that's where it's starting to impede uh, Aries. And this is when it starts, starts blocking out your four pentacles, the energy flow, where, whatever it is that you've been investing energy into, right? Whether this is a project, whether this is like, you know, even like your diet, right? Uh, it's very much so just like an old habits, because that's what the devil can represent. Um, and I really get it. It is like an old, ha like habits, stuff that, you know, just cycles that are just hard to break. I'm getting heavy addiction in some way. Some of you may just be addicted to, um, self-sabotaging, right? Uh, so let's get a little bit more detail on this. What's this guy like? Yeah, let's get a little bit more detail. We have the eight of wands coming in here under your three of cups okay we have the four of wands stepping forward to you a lot of fiery energy i mean it makes sense you are a fire sign aries you are naturally known to live in your passions um we have the knight of cups coming in here i feel like you had this card last week as well aries as well we have the moon card coming in for you i'm right i'm right so with this eight of wands and this four of wands, I'm identifying areas, part of this process that you need to do, like, how would I put this, Aries? I see the actions that you're already taking, like the actions and the things that you're doing, you're like, you're in the right direction, right? That's the thing. Like, I'm not, I don't get the sense of you needing to redirect or changing anything up, Aries, in terms of your direction and how you're going about things. But it does feel as if, Aries, you need to start addressing whatever this devil thing is that's impeding into your goals, right? So you have with the Eight of Wands to, uh, addressing with this Three of Cups situation. This shows to me uh, an energy of... Um, you know, even potentially like you trying out, to, you know, just going back to that sense of where uh, I do feel like there's other energies involved that you could involve in your situation. Um, this is also just dabbling in different things, right? Perhaps like you're starting to make more connections with um, people that you could relate to in a specific craft, right? As you're like dabbling, picking up a wand, trying it out. Um, especially with this four of wands coming in here i do feel like because this is under your star this is showing to me like you're already on like the path like you're on the path to reaching your uh star aries but the situation is like to continue progressing towards or making groundwork in your star the knight of cups has to be allowed in right now this is where i'm kind of like oh okay aries now what's the issue because this knight of cups is under your devil card and so now it's leading me to believe our like the devil is quite literally blocking off the path for this um for this knight of cups to come through and this then the moon card is under your four pentacles so it's almost just like you have no idea where to invest like it's almost like the sense areas you don't know who to trust or like what to trust, what to invest your energy and time into and what not to invest your time and energy into um, right here because the moon's covering your four pentacles areas. And I feel like you're going to be continuously left out in the dark um, because this devil, I really do feel like this devil is an internal thing for you. I won't be surprised if we get the five of swords for you is what I'm trying to say, Aries. Um, Non-confrontationally, of course. Um, I do feel like this devil is blocking the uh, path that the Knight of Cups is trying to take uh, to assist this along. So how does this turn out? Best case scenario, what can we be hopeful in this situation? Or I guess more so a better question would be, Aries, like how are you going to react? How are you going to handle the situation, right? How's my Aries going to handle the situation? And the Sun card in the reverse. And it's not starting out. So Nine of Cups, Aries, in the reverse. Five of Wands in the reverse. This is interesting. This is kind of just confirming the same message as before. Aries, my, of my hunch of where it's like, because these two cards were covering your Three of Cups and your Star uh, experience. Aries, and so uh, the Nine of Cups also being connected to your double. So I do feel like, again, yeah, this is quite literally just connected to like somehow, like whatever your internal monologue is, whatever your trust issues are, Aries, whatever your devil is, I do again feel like it's an internal thing. This needs to be addressed, 
right? It's because you have this five of wands coming in and inverted for you, where this is encompassing your four of pentacles, the devil card, the moon, as well as your knight of cups, Aries. And this is where it's showing to me there's some type of conflict that needs to be healed in this situation before uh, your nine of cups, your sun can be in the upright. Noticing how the nine of cups coming in where it's talking about emotional uh, stuff for you. So it does, again, confirm to me some sense of like, I don't know. I don't know if you don't want to be vulnerable in some way, uh, Aries, if that's your issue, right? Mm. Pull two more cards. Justice card coming in, the Libra card, Aries, um, as well as the Two of Swords. You, I'm pretty sure you had the Justice card coming in for you before as well, Aries, last week. And the Two of Swords in the reverse is showing to me, um, notice how it's also a theme of like balancing things out. So it's showing to me, Aries, you're weighing out a decision. Perhaps you just need to learn how to, uh, it feels like you just need to get off, like you either need to piss or get off the pot sort of thing, Aries. I feel like you kind of have to have this tough love conversation of where it's like, make a decision, right? Stop always running back in terms of like a situation and being like, you know, it feels like you almost have commitment issues, Aries, where it's like you'll start going down a path and then you start getting in your head for whatever reason with that devil and then you start backtracking. But like, oh, no, 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 I don't want to commit to this, right? I don't know if I can trust this path. I don't know if I can, if it's worth putting my pentacles into this path, right? You're constantly in your head and because you're just so obsessed with making just like the right choice when really the right choice is you just making a choice in the first place, Aries. Right now, I'm just getting the situation where... It just feels like, I mean, I'm going to be honest, Aries, it does feel like I get the sense of like you lost your spark a little bit because I do feel like you guys are just so extremely in your head. And so it's just like you're keeping yourself at this crossroads because you're doubting yourself. Um, you're doubting yourself and what it is you could be handling. And I don't know. It's just interesting, Aries. What has you in this weird energy? Right? I'm just curious final card the emperor finally aries really the only way to really overcome this situation is becoming channeling this emperor energy how do you what does that even mean when you're channeling the emperor energy aries well it means that you are uh, taking a more proactive role uh, in your life it means that you're finally taking charge rather than allowing yourself to be riddled with anxiety um about a situation and just doing it right rather than just standing at the cross it was just like biting your nails freaking out and be like oh i don't want to make the right wrong choice da, da, da. whatever your storyline is um aries you commit to a decision right and as the emperor the emperor is extremely sure of the decision that they make because they know whatever decision they make they're ready to uh handle whatever consequences that uh looks like for them right the thing is the emperor just gets things done right they the emperor takes action and the emperor is not going to be the one that just sits at the crossroads constantly being like ah oh, should i do this or should i not you know the, the emperor doesn't rely on excuses honey the emperor is all about action all about trying to get to that four of wands right not a, the emperor isn't, doesn't care for the dramas right doesn't care for the dramas doesn't care for what's happened in the past it's all about the future all about focusing on the future remember going back to that fear of wands we're talking about long-term plans so yeah aries i'm gonna pull some i just feel drawn to pull a few more cards just to hear about some good things to you coming because i feel like we need to like have a little bit of a palate cleanse darling um, after that so let's see here we have the Interesting, Aries. We have the eight of not eight of nines, eight of wands, nine of wands, with the six of cups. This is definitely some type of personal relationship that you have, Aries, that's really calling to your sense of security. Um I really do get this strong sense that there's someone that's in your current life, someone that's you have a history with. Um, I feel like they're definitely here to teach you a lesson right? And more so about yourself, right? This lesson will be like an extremely empowering empowering lesson for you, Aries, but you just need to be receiving of it. I see this as good news because I feel like um, for some of you that your crossroads is fear of opening up to certain individuals because remembering that fear of cups energy that keeps coming forward to you. Tulip is deciding to make a bunch of noise now, darling. Um, 
And I just get the sense that the, those three cards itself would just allow you to just take a moment's breath and be like, okay, it's all right for me to um, sink into this energy a little bit more, being a little bit more vulnerable to an energy, right? All that being said, though, uh, Aries, let's see what's going on for your romance and social situations, your social relationships this week. Because keep in mind, Aries, we have more than just romantic relationships. We have co-workers, we have friends, family, acquaintances, right? All that jazz. Let's see what's going on for my Aries social. Two of air, two of swords, confirming what I was just saying, darling. I love when I'm doing, I'm so good at my job. Right? Two of air is two of swords and normal to row because swords is uh, air energy. This card says being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, and pretending there isn't a problem. You're stuck on this crossroads. It's literally confirming what I was saying, Aries. You're stuck on this crossroads, not sure how to handle a person. You have this nine of swords coming in in the reverse for you. There's a sense of just, you just, you have extreme crippling anxiety over this situation and like, the only way to overcome this anxiety is you, by you actually addressing it and acknowledging it. Six of Swords, there is like all this air energy for you. Eight of Pentacles, straight up Aries, like you can't really spin this any other way. Um, there's whatever you've been having anxiety about, This when Spirit puts this in inverted, this is quite, I mean, to be blunt, it's very much so Spirit saying get over it. Right, this anxiety in your head is one of those things that, you know, some of you could, as I said, you some of y'all could be addicted to just being anxious all the time, right? And this is coming from someone who used to be like extremely crippling anxious. I still am an anxious person, right? But there is a level where there is an addiction or just a habit even of experiencing anxiety in certain situations, right? Not to dismiss your experiences, right? Y'all will know it more than I would, honey. I don't know what y'all's anxieties look like. And even if I saw y'all's anxiety, I, I'm the last person to have an opinion on it, truly. Um, but in the situation, you have the Six of Swords kind of telling you to put distance between this and start learning. Eight of Pentacles, learning how to handle the situation more rather than be consistently paralyzed and just like putting on the back burner, you know, considering to be like, ah, maybe it'll figure itself out. Or, you know, maybe if I don't address it for long enough, like whatever, whatever, whatever. No, Aries, this is a time for you to step up to the plate. You know, your last week's reading was me saying just speak up. And I still feel like it's kind of the same theme from last week. You know, so let's now get into my Aries financial and wealth situation, their career, their work. What's going on for my Aries and their financial this week? The wheel, Archangel Michael is still following you, Aries. Uh, Michael shows up the most in y'all's readings, I've noticed. Has have y'all noticed this is that at all? Same thing, same spiel, right? Number one for numerology, for those interested to look up later. Archangel Michael is the one if you're open to connecting with Archangel Michael. He's still making his presence known, darling. Uh, this card says, a time of positive change, the situation suddenly moves forward and fortune is on your side. So very beautiful card to be having, right? When you have this for your financial and career, don't you think, Aries? So we have the Page of Pentacles. This is definitely like a new stream of revenue I'm seeing this as. Um, Definitely expect, I mean, we have to pull some more car, cord, cords, cards, Aries, but if we were just to leave it at this, this definitely gives a sign of like promotion to some level um, or just an influx of money. The devil card following you, darling. You thought, you thought, darling, you thought, Aries, we were done with this devil. Mm -mm -mm. This devil's going to continuously haunt you until you address it with the star. This is what's literally stopping you, Aries. You have the wheel of fortune coming in your favor. You have potential. Ev I'm about to go off, darling. I can't even speak anymore, Aries. You. Mm. So you have so many potential. You have the potential to really start getting the gears turning in your life financially. Some of you guys, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be blunt. Some of y'all have a financial block. You have a money block going on, Aries, that you need to get a hold of. You have a money block, and this devil is what's putting this money block on you. Whether this is your insecurity, whether this is, and I do feel like it's an internal thing. I straight up like I'm not changing from that. I don't care how many Aries I piss off, darling. It wouldn't be the first time that I get into a little fiery uh, battle with an Aries. Darling, I can handle you. I love my Aries. But straight up, someone needs to say it. Someone, like, you know, Aries, if you don't have anyone else that's going to be blunt with you in your life because they're afraid of your reaction, I'm not afraid of your reaction, darling. You need to address that devil in your life. And then you have a lot of good things coming to you for your career. What did I tell you? That devil is really impeding a lot of your goals. 
uh, it just puts you at this state of just always being paralyzed with fear. But Aries, I love you so much with all that being said. Um, I hope you found some messages that resonated. Please identify that devil because so much beauty is going to be coming to you. And I'm not just saying that. The cards repeatedly showed them to you. That's part of the reason why I show so many tarot decks is so you know this is not just like a one-time by chance thing. You want to see those repetitive messages as hard as they might be to hear, right? But I love you so much. If you enjoyed this reading, let me know in the comments. Give this video a like and subscribe. If you'd like to book a reading with me, my website is down below, simplyvelka.com. All my social medias, honey, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Simply Velka. That's right. I love you so much and hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye.